Hey everybody, my name is Caleb, just in case you forgot because I've been gone for so long. So pretty much I created a video a couple weeks ago saying I was laid off and also a video talking about a course that I was working on and then I basically disappeared. And here we are like two months later. Just wanted to do an update because it's well overdue. Good news for me is I did end up getting employed, so I got an offer and I've been grinding at this new company, and then I've still been working on the C and C++ course, but that has taken me a little bit longer than expected. So I wanted to talk briefly a little bit about how I ended up getting the employment and what type of work I am doing. So when I was previously laid off, I pretty much said, hey, I'm not going to aggressively job search. Like if there's any opportunities that come my way, I'll look into them and consider them. So I pretty much went to LinkedIn and saw any opportunities that people reached out to me about. Through technical recruiters, I was able to get some interviews set up and I ended up interviewing at four different companies. The first one was a really small tech startup and it really didn't go well. Like the first interview was kind of not that great and I really didn't expect to work there and they ended up saying no anyways. So I just don't think it was a good fit. The second company I interviewed all the way through, which was a significant number of interviews to ultimately get a no. Basically, they ended up saying that there was some reorg stuff that interrupted the hiring process, which may have just been a nice way to say no. Uh, the third company I ended up actually getting an offer from, and that is where I am currently working, which I talk more about on my social channels, but I'm doing Web3 developer relations and working in zero knowledge cryptography, which is awesome and really excited about the work that I get to do. And then the fourth company, I ended up just canceling the interviews because I already had an offer I was happy about. I didn't see the point in going through any more interviews. This experience and prior job searching experiences have shown me that, hey, you don't have to apply to hundreds of places and, you know, spam job boards clicking apply to every single one. That's probably not the best way to go about getting employed. Instead, you need to learn some valuable skills and learn how to market yourself. About six months ago, I was reached out to by a course platform, and this started a collaboration between me and a few other creators to create the ultimate software development course, which will talk about not only the tech skills required to get a job, but also strategies and the connections to companies to get students employed. So this is a partnership with the Course Careers platform. They've had major success with a tech sales course and they're breaking into software development now. So with this course, you get a fundamentals course taught by Tech with Tim, and then you also get a specialization, either front end, back end, or DevOps. So I taught the back end section where we cover Node, database design, SQL, no SQL, APIs, all that fun stuff. So this is a really, really cool course because it gives you everything you need to know from a complete beginner to getting your first career in software development and making at minimum 60 to 70K. This is a very extensive course, so it's not just something you're going to go through on a weekend. If, for example, you go with the backend specialization, all in all, you'll have over 50 hours of content between the fundamentals course and the specialization, in addition to quizzes, an exam, reference notes, and so much more. So this is a substantial effort, but it's going to give you everything you need to know to excel in a software development career and how to essentially set yourself apart from so many other people out there applying for jobs. The front end specialization is taught by Web Dev Simplified. Many of you I'm sure know him as well. So there's a lot of great course opportunities and I will drop the links to those down in the description and likely the pinned comment as well. So that was a process we started six months ago, but it's just now going live. So it's a completely fresh course. And if you want to check it out, but you're not sure if you want to, you know, commit to the whole course, there is a free intro course, which will give you a rundown of the software development industry, what a typical job might look like, what skills you need to learn and how to get employed. So I'll leave a link to the free intro course as well if you want to get started there. Other than that, I'm still working my way through the C and C++ content when I can. We're about 70 episodes into the content, so there's a substantial amount of content available. It's taken me a little bit longer than I initially expected, but when I launched the course, I was currently unemployed, so it was like the only thing I had to focus on. And I think I'm finally getting into a pretty good routine at work, so hopefully I'll be having a consistent flow of YouTube videos coming out here soon. So hopefully you're excited to have me back 
and we'll be releasing the YouTube videos, the C and C++ content, and then just supporting the Course Careers course. So I'm excited and I'm looking forward to all of these opportunities. I just wanted to catch up and say I am still looking to post YouTube videos here, so you should expect some content here really soon. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming episodes. Peace out.